What I have proposed is that Scotland sh should have the right to choose our own future once the terms of Brexit are clear, but before it's too late for us to choose a different path. Now, on the timetable for the Brexit negotiations that the Prime Minister has set out, that means a window of autumn next year through to the spring of 2019. So that's the proposition I have set out. We have in the Scottish Government a mandate for that. We were elected less than a year ago on a manifesto that explicitly said that in these circumstances the Scottish Parliament should have the right to hold an independence referendum. And of course there is a majority in the Scottish Parliament for that. So I think it would be completely unacceptable and outrageous and almost anti-democratic for a Conservative government with one MP in Scotland to seek to block the democratic will of the Scottish Parliament and stand in the way of the Scottish people having the right to choose our own future. Now, although the Prime Minister has not stated a date when she would perhaps accept a Scottish mm. referendum, I think the inference seems to be today, and, uh, and I'd like to get your mm. take on this, that the implication is that it's after Brexit has been done and dusted and is up and running. Well, do, you, you see, do, do you agree with that? Well, do I agree that that seems to be what yes. she said? But that certainly appears to be the case. Let me just set out again the, the logic of the, the time scale that I set out, uh, because this is a time scale that is intended to be in the interest of the country and give the people of Scotland an informed choice about our future. So we know from the Prime Minister's own words that by the autumn of next year, the terms of the Brexit deal will be clear. But we also know that by March 2019, the UK will be leaving the EU. So I think it's right that Scotland gets the opportunity to choose when we have clarity about the terms. But crucially, and this is a crucial point, before it's too late for Scotland to choose a different path, because, and this is an important point, if Scotland doesn't at least indicate its desire to have a different relationship with Europe, either before the UK exits the EU or pretty shortly thereafter, then we're making it more difficult for ourselves to negotiate that new relationship before the damage of Brexit is done. So, you know, for the Conservative government to say that they're going to seek to block Scotland's choice uh, until a day much after the UK leaving the EU, it's kind of tantamount to, you know, having sunk the ship with Brexit, they're going to try to puncture Scotland's lifeboat as well. It would be unfair to do that. So I've set out a sensible, uh, fair, time scale based on the Prime Minister's own intentions for the Brexit negotiations. And I think for a Conservative government to say it doesn't matter that I lead a government that's got a clear mandate for that and it doesn't matter that the Scottish Parliament has a majority in favour of that, she is going to lay down the law and dictate to Scotland that we're not to have that choice. That seems to me like going back to the bad old days of Margaret Thatcher and it didn't really do the Tories many favours in those days, and I don't think it will now. And it, I think it raises the suspicion, I think, in many minds, that they must be fearing the verdict of the Scottish people.